Hi, welcome to the tutorial on types of machine learning, supervised and unsupervised. By the end of this topic, you will be able to define the terms labeled data and unlabeled data, explain supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In the previous topic, we learned about how machine learning works using the available data and how different applications are making use of this smart technology. We also got introduced to the term machine learning model, which is nothing but the program or the algorithm that discovers patterns and insights in the data and learns from it. In this tutorial, we learn about different types of machine learning models that are available to us. Supervised learning and unsupervised learning are the two most commonly used types of machine learning models. There are other types of models as well, which we will briefly touch upon them later in the training program. Before we start our discussion on supervised and unsupervised learning, it is important we understand what is labeled and what is unlabeled data. As we had learned earlier, data is a collection of information about something. And if this data contains a target variable or an output variable that answers the question of interest, then we say that it is a labeled data. Confused? Don't worry. Let's take some examples to understand this better. Suppose we have the results of patients who are suffering from a particular disease and receiving treatment for it. The data may contain information like patient's name, age, gender, location, hospital name, time since patient is suffering from the disease, type of disease, its complexity level, patient's weight, body temperature, blood pressure, heart rate and the amount of dose given, etc. etc. Additionally, we also have information whether the patient was completely cured or not after the treatment. This additional information can be represented as a category variable containing yes or no against each patient depending on whether he or she was cured after the treatment or not. And this additional information is what we call a target variable or an output variable since it answers the question whether the patient was cured or not. This target variable is also called a dependent variable since its value, yes or no, may depend on some of the other information we have about the patient, such as gender, weight, age, treatment dose, treatment duration, etc. And this other information is referred to as independent variables. Such kind of data, which contains a target variable or a dependent variable answering a question of interest, is called labeled data. Now let us consider another example where we have data of employees of an organization. The information contains employee's name, age, location, date of joining, designation, role, job type, time of service, time in role, years of experience, monthly salary, average rating, last appraisal percentage, etc. In addition to this, we also have information about the employee leaving the organization or not. So, this data again is called a label data because it has employee level details and also tells us whether a particular employee is still with the organization or not. Had this information not been present in the data, we would have classified it as unlabeled data. So, unlabeled data is one which contains information about something but does not have a predefined target variable. It is actually just the opposite of labeled data. In case you are wondering what kind of data that may be or what could be its use, we would understand that right after we learn about supervised learning. From the term supervised learning, we can infer that supervised learning model is a model which learns under supervision and this supervision is provided by the labeled data which contains a target variable and a few independent variables. In a supervised learning model, we are more interested in the target value. Just like a student learns from teacher and then delivers in the exam, in supervised learning, the model first learns about the target variable and how it depends on the rest of the information or variable using the past labeled data. This is referred to as training the model. Once the model has been trained on this labeled data, we can feed the new unlabeled data to it for which we want to make predictions of the target variable and it would predict the value of the target variable for the new data based on its learning from the past data. For example, Let's say we have labeled data of customers from a particular e-commerce website. We have information like name of the customer, gender, age, occupation, monthly salary, monthly expenditure, 
परसेंटेज स्पेंड ऑन ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट्स ड्यूरेशन ऑफ विजिट्स कैटेगरीज ब्राउज प्रोडक्ट्स ब्राउज ब्राउज प्रोडक्ट्स प्राइस डिस्काउंट अवेलेबल ऑफर्स and finally a target variable of number of products purchased in the last one month so this information tells us whether the customer will buy a product or not we can now train our model using this data and the model will understand the pattern of customers who are buying a product based on its learning the model can now predict whether a new customer will buy a product or not based on other variable information of that customer so this was an example of supervised learning where we first train the model using the label data and then the model predicts answers to a question for new data based on its past learning let us consider another example of supervised learning let's say at intern shala we are very interested in predicting how many marks you would score in your final test for this training for this we have data of past students who have taken this training we have their data such as name gender college branch year of study their cgpa how much time they spent on training how many times they revised the videos how was their performance in quiz questions etc we also have data on target variable that is how many marks these students scored in the final test a supervised learning model can be trained on this data and can later look at the same information for you such as your name gender college cgpa time you are spending in watching these videos etc and predict how many marks you would score in the final test isn't that cool one key difference between this example of supervised learning and previous example of unsupervised learning is the kind of values you would expect in the target variable in case of patient data the target variable would contain yes or no values in it and is called a category variable since it can have only one discrete value from a predefined set of values while in case of test score prediction model the target variable would contain a student's marks in the final test which is a continuous numerical value and such target variable is called a continuous variable it can take any numerical value in a given range accordingly supervised learning models are further classified into two types namely classification models where target variable is a category variable and regression models where target variable is a continuous numerical variable most of machine learning models that we use today are based on supervised learning that is they are trained on label data and belong to either of these two types we will be talking about these models more in detail in the later part of this training we can say unsupervised learning is the complement of supervised learning here there is no target variable involved and it works only on unlabeled data The objective of this type of machine learning model is to identify if some pattern exists in the data or not. Let us take for example the population data which has information for each household such as date of survey, state, district, locality, PIN code, total family members in the house, number of children in the house, number of senior citizens, number of males, number of females, number of people working, household income, whether it has a dish connection or not and many more. now we do not have a target variable in this data which is trying to predict or answer a specific question for each data point and hence this is unlabeled data but let's say in this population we want to make a group of households which are similar to each other based on the information available for them these groups could be similar based on one characteristic such as whether there is a child in the house or not or multiple characteristics say all the households of a certain annual income located in urban centers and having children could be clubbed together to form a group and there could be several groups the population can be divided into the machine learning that we deploy to find such patterns in unlabeled data is referred to as unsupervised machine learning since there is no target variable to learn from we learn more about unsupervised learning models towards the end of this training program that's it in this tutorial see you in the next